Dogs all fat, how you doing? Want to share a funny story with your bros and any sisters that are joining us today. I'll get out of the wind here so the audio is not getting smashed. Maybe I can sit down here with this little part of the caravan without falling over. So a while ago I posted a video regarding men not having the same rights as women when it comes to things like children. Particularly little silly things like, that really bugs me. Which is just downright sexist, I think. It needs to be changed as often. It has changed in some places, in fairness to some councils and some people with their heads screwed on. But often you'll go into a men's changing room and there's not a facility there to change your child's nappies, diapers. Diapers? That's American saying, isn't it? We call them nappies in New Zealand. I call them nappies. So I, I mentioned this in a video and Rangi from West Auckland wrote me a really funny story and told me about his experience with this, which I thought was hilarious how he handled it, made it into humour to some degree, I guess. Clay, he wrote, I had an experience not too long ago, and after hearing your post on fathers with inadequate provisions for their children, particularly babies, I had to share a story with you. I was in a shopping mall, and my four-month-old daughter had pooed her nappies, and it stunk, and we were walking around, and a woman came up to me and said, your baby's nappies need to be changed. He said, I know. And he said, but I went to the, the men's toilets and there was nothing there and I couldn't change them. So I'm waiting until I get home. And the woman said to him, it's disgusting. And he said, it's fucking disgusting. You're right, there should be a facility there. And as he carried on doing his shopping, he became aware of the smell and his daughter's just coming. He thought, ah, oh, fuck it. So he went back to the toilets and went into the woman's toilets where there was a thing you pull down and you put your baby on it and you change the diapers, a place to put the old diapers, or old nappies, and carry on. So he started to, well, proceeded to change the nappies, and as he did, there uh, was a woman came in who was one of the, I suppose, cleaners or something, I don't know, some sort of authority, and she said, excuse me, sir, do you realise this is the woman's toilets? And Rangi goes, yes, I do, but I had no other place to change my daughter's nappies. And she said, what are you doing in here? After he'd already clearly said what he was doing, and he said, well, actually, I'm an ex really in here to, to perfect woman. That's why I come in here. I'm one of those guys that hangs around toilets and looks at women going to the toilet. And uh, I like to take my daughter along for the ride because I'm teaching her the trade. And she's like, I beg your pardon? And he goes, yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. She said, I'm going to call the police. And he said, call them. And he carried on changing the nappy. She didn't call the police. She was bluffing him, I guess. And she became more irate and more angry. And he just carried on this job, changed the nappies, and this woman was just about having a fit because he was in the woman's toilets. I don't think he did anything wrong. What do you reckon? In fact, I think it's quite funny. His, uh, maybe his response was a bit inappropriate, but sometimes when things in life are a bit inappropriate, the only way to fight them is with being inappropriate. And some people would have just got really angry and told her to fuck off. He didn't do that. He just made up a story that clearly was not true, and she could clearly see what he was doing in the toilets. He was changing his daughter's nappies. She was coming at him and attacking him like he was in there to perv in a woman's toilet. Which obviously he wasn't because he had his baby with him. I think that's hilarious. And people straight away trying to jump on, well somebody, not people, but a woman trying to jump on a bloke that obviously was just a dad trying to do right by his daughter and couldn't find a place to do it. Now there's the reversal of this too. And there's women that have been persecuted for breastfeeding their babies in public, which is just fucking hilarious. I was going to say hilarious, but it's not. It's actually, it's disgusting. If a woman wants to feed her child in public and somebody's offended by that, then that's their shit. It's the most natural thing in the world. And I don't think you'll find... God. Well, I, I can't think of any one of my friends that would be offended by a woman breastfeeding her child, the most natural thing. Yet there are people out there that are. It's a fucked up old world. And it's up to us to make it less fucked up. Anyway, this is the Bro Check Club. Check on a brother that's having an issue with anything. And if you've got a story to share like Rangi's up in West Auckland about him trying to change his daughter's diapers and being persecuted for being a man in a woman's toilets doing it, share it because I find it interesting. And maybe this video might get shared and maybe it might finally reach someone with some common sense that works in a council or somewhere that can start putting changing tables for men with their babies because men do just as many diapers as women these days well maybe not just as many but a shitload more than they used to excuse the pun 
I certainly did all my kids nappies when they're growing up and that was like 20 years ago I'm sure today it's it's shared pretty much equally amongst men are there any men out there watching this that have never ever changed their children's diapers let me know I'll be interested anyway two two videos in one day because I'm in a good mood I've spent uh, time with my children always puts me in a good mood and I've got Ricky Brown cruising up right now to help me with something for the young fellas I look after on my other channel ghost daddy check in a bro and see you in the next video